Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona for 3ds Max. It is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona for 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. Next, let's create a wood or better to say a parquet shader. I'm going to create a new Corona material and assign it to the shader ball and run the interactive rendering. Uh, load this texture called wood underscore parquet dot png and connect it to the diffuse color. As you can see from the render, the tiling um, is a bit too repetitive. So we can set it to something like 0.25 and 0.25 to get a bit more reasonable size. I'm going to set the uh, reflection level to 1. Fresnel IOR in the vicinity of 1.5 or 1.6 or a bit higher. Let's try 1.65 just to get a bit more equal reflectivity on the entire surface. And I'm going to duplicate the diffuse map and load this map called wood underscore parquet underscore bw underscore zero two and connect it to the our connect it to a corona color correct map because we want to do just slight color correction on it and uh, in case you want to obviously use this map for other inputs as well and connect the color correct map to the reflection glassiness input of the material as you can see in the render i guess there is just too much contrast in the reflection glassiness map and i want the brighter and darker values to be in a closer range together. So let's decrease the contrast in the color correct map to around 0.45. And to make the reflections a bit rougher, let's darken the map a bit by setting the brightness to 0.05, just a tad. Now we're gonna get a rougher surface. Now we can connect the original map to the bump input. and set the bump amount to 0.2. If you remember when we we're discussing displacement mapping and bump mapping, uh, these are the cases that bump mapping is extremely useful, it's much faster, and it gives you perfect results. We can just set the highlight compression to the default one and set the contrast to something like 1.5. And here is our parquet shader. Let me just show you the higher resolution render as well. So here is our beautiful, touchable, easy to make, realistic parquet shader. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona for 3ds Max. It is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona for 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.